Hey everyone, Lewis here for Pixel Surplus, and today we're going to be learning how to apply textures to your vector designs and typography in Adobe Illustrator, as well as some really quick and easy ways that you can create your own textures. Let's begin by opening Adobe Illustrator and getting your design that you'd like to apply your texture to. For this tutorial, I'll be using 10 free vintage textures pack by Bart Wesler. This free texture package can be found at Pixel Surplus. Links will be in the description below. So let's begin by selecting our vector design and grouping them by hitting Command or Control G. The next step is to open the transparency panel. You do this by heading to Windows and Transparency. Let's also pop over to our texture pack and choose the texture that's going to work for our design the best. Let's go ahead and copy it by hitting Command or Control C. Now with your logo selected, head to the transparency panel and hit Make Mask. Now, click on the empty white box in the transparency panel and paste our texture by hitting Command or Control V. Sweet, now you've applied a texture to your logo. You can go ahead and scale and move that texture until you've got your desired effect. Something to remember about the transparency panel is clicking in the left box will allow you to edit your vector design and clicking in the right box will allow you to edit the texture. But say that texture isn't the right one for you, not a problem. Head to the transparency panel and click release. This will separate your vector design from the texture. So now we know how to apply textures to vector designs. Let's create our own and apply it to a font. First, let's find a photograph to turn into a texture. I like using Unsplash because of their freely usable images. Links to Unsplash will be in the description below. Once you've found a photo that you think is going to produce a really interesting texture, download and save that file. Now let's open that photo in Illustrator. Next let's open the Image Trace panel. You do this by heading to Windows, Image Trace. With your photo selected, head to the Image Trace panel and choose Sketched Art. There is two options for creating a mask, regular mask and invert mask. Let's begin with regular. Adjust your threshold until it's predominantly white with speckles of black. The black texture will be subtracted from your vector design. Once you have your desired effect, hit expand. Now let's copy it by hitting command or control C. Now let's apply our texture to type. The font I'm using is old stop. This vintage hand-drawn font can be found at Pixel Surplus. Links will be in the description below. Just like before, let's begin by grouping our type. Select everything and hit Command or Control G to group. Next, let's open the Transparency panel by going to Window and Transparency. With your type still selected, hit Create Mask. Click in the empty box inside the Transparency panel and paste with Command or Control V. With the right box still selected, adjust your texture until you have your desired effect. Great! So if a regular mask is subtracting black from our design, then an inverse mask is subtracting white from our design. So head back over to the piece of photography that we found earlier. We're going to do another image trace, but this time we're going to be focusing on the white instead of the black. Adjust the threshold so that it's predominantly black with speckles of white. Once you have your desired effect, hit expand and copy with Ctrl or Command C. Now let's head back to our text, select it, head to the transparency panel and hit mask. Click inside the right box and hit Command or Ctrl V to paste. This time's a little different. What we're going to do is choose clip and invert mask. Awesome. Now you know how to work the transparency panel, apply textures, invert masks, and even create your own. The links to all of the products as well as Pixel Surplus will be in the description below. Come give us a visit for thousands of incredible fonts, textures, and mockups, as well as the best font bundles on the internet. Thanks for watching and have a great day.